All right, so we have a bunch of our little greens added on <clears throat> to it. Now, just also keep in mind, depending on what colors you're using for yours, um, sometimes I find also with a lot of reds, um, more green is added to it. Um, I don't know, some, for some reason the arrangements just look a little bit more alive with more greens. So this one I kind of mimicked like, uh, kind of like my lilac bushes this year. So, <laughs> no, it's not an actual lilac, but I love the color. Now here, we're going to thread our yarn into our darning needle. All right. And then we want to take our bottom of our pot. And then we simply want to come into our stitches. And I like to match up the seams for them. And I am simply going to come into right behind, not on our top layer, because otherwise it uh, they sew together and you see the stitching and it doesn't give that nice little, it kind of looks like the dirt sitting on top of the pot and so the dirt is in the pot. So I come into the actual back of the stitch and then we come in through the top layer of the stitches on top and just pull it all together. And then we'll just continue that going around. Now, as you can see, you can kind of see the seam. So the pot's kind of sticking towards the outside of the dirt mound. And all your stitches should line up stitch per stitch from the dirt to the pot.
All right, now that we're almost closing off our pot, we're gonna take some of our polyfill and start stuffing the pot. I like to add extra filling into it. Um, you could also, you know, put some sort of a weight into the bottom of it, um, if, especially if you're wanting it kept uh, on a table and there's any wind or breeze coming through. You might want to add something into the bottom, small rock. Um, who knows, maybe even you could throw a magnet inside of it too if you have like a metal table. So possibilities are quite endless on things that you can do with them. Give our pot a nice little check. All right, and then just come through and finish up sewing it together once you have it all good and stuffed. And then once you have it all sewn on, go ahead and weave in that last end that you've been working on. And then we still have this little gray one. So we'll go ahead and weave in and tie off that one. The gray one was also a good thing to keep on before cutting it off, just cause if there was any issues, like we didn't leave enough brown yarn, we could have used this color also to work back. And sew the pot to the dirt. And there we are. We have our, well, you might wanna mess around with the stuffing a little bit, give it a little bit of squeezes so it moves that stuffing around a little bit more so it holds precisely how you want it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a little thumbs up. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, and also, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll get a little heads up every time whenever I post a new pattern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.